Thanks for coming back to another Q&A. We are going to answer a few very specific questions that I think a lot of you are going to want the answers to, and I wanted to break these out as individual videos to make it easier for you to find. Ian Atkins says, help, I can't get the autofocus plus manual focus setting to work on the GH5. Meaning if I set to autofocus, I can't manually override the focus even when half pressing the shutter or using the AF lock button. I've tried this both with continuous AF on and off and both AFC and AFS slash AFF modes. So I jumped into my camera last night, messed around a little bit, and I'm not totally sure why you ran into a problem, but I think I might know. So I'm gonna show you, although you did say that you wouldn't have pressing the shutter button. So I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and set it up and show you that it is working. And hopefully if you can follow these steps on your camera, you'll be able to get it working as well. So first of all, what, what, is, uh, what is Ian asking about? So you have, obviously you have manual focus and you have autofocus and you have the ability, you can turn on a feature where even in autofocus mode, just by touching the, manual focus ring, you will go into manual focus override and it will start manually focusing. So this is, this can be super, super handy. Let's say you're doing portraits and you got a shot portrait and you, you focus and let's just say that it focuses on the right eye and they're tilted a little bit and you go, oh, I really want to focus on the left eye. Well, focus, recompose, focus, recompose. It just keeps grabbing the right eye. I want it on the left. You can, while the, while the finger, while your finger's half pressed and that is part of the key on this and we're going to look at it. While the finger's half pressed, you can now rotate the manual focus uh, ring. And what will happen is the focus peaking will come up, assuming you have that enabled, and you will be in manual focus mode. You then press the button down the rest of the way to take the picture, and it takes the shot. If you take your finger off and push it down again, it's going to go back to autofocus. So it's an important, uh, it's a critical sequence of events that you do it in. But if you think about it, it makes sense from the position of pick up the camera, focus, uh, autofocus, tweak focusing a little bit manually and push the button to, to take the picture, right? That's your order of sequence, order of events, if you will. So let me show you how to set this up. All right, so wrong. Let's go to this, here we go. All right, so I'm going to go into the customs, that's the custom wrench. I'm gonna go down to focus, release, and shutter. And we're going to go to, I think this is right. I should have written this down. I did this all last night, but I was very tired. Here we go. Autofocus plus manual focus, that's the one. So by default, it's gonna be off. Okay, autofocus plus manual focus. If I hit the display button, I actually don't know what it tells me. Adjust focus manually after adjust it automatically. Well, there you go, super helpful. Okay, so AF plus MF, let's turn this on. Now, manual focus sit assist, by default, I think it's in this position, which means the assist option, which is the, the assist is when the camera punches in, zooms in to the shot so that you can focus more critically manually. I think by default it's set to this position here, which you're seeing, which is, you see it's the lens barrel plus the focus button. And what that is telling me is that whether I rotate the lens barrel, the focus barrel, or hit that focus button, it is going to punch into the shot. This one, it's only gonna happen if I rotate the focus barrel. This one, it's only gonna happen if I punch in on the focus button. Personally, I like this option, but that's just me, right? I, I don't often, if I'm focusing manually, I don't always want it punching in. It, I, I used it that way for a while and it would drive me crazy because uh, every time I'm gonna focus, I'm losing half of my shot because I punched into the frame. So I set it so that when you push that button, then it zooms in. So it's kind of like a zoom in button, if you will. Okay, so back to the camera, back into there again. There, there, focus release, MF on, AF plus MF is on, MF assist is set to that mode that I like. Okay, I push the button halfway, I am in, what am I in? I'm in AFS mode, autofocus single mode, I push the button halfway, take my finger off of the shutter button, okay, it's off, and I spin that manual ring and nothing is happening, as you would expect, because I'm in autofocus mode. Push the button halfway again, hold it halfway, and now start to spin it, and you can see I know I'm in manual focus because I get that little manual focus adjuster slider thing on the bottom. Plus I can see the sparkles of focus peaking. If I wanted to punch into the shot, I can now push that focus button. It punches in and I still have my finger halfway down on the shutter. And now I get that zoomed in so I can be a little bit more precise about my focusing. If I didn't want to have to push that button, I can, like I said, I can do that. So I'm going to go to here. We're going to go into the focus release, MF assist, and we're gonna set it to barrel or push the focus button. And now, as soon as I, so I'm half pressed down, you see it focused automatically. As soon as I spin the, the manual focus ring, it 
start it punches in and of course brings me into auto uh, into manual focus mode. Take the picture and away we go. So you have to have your finger halfway down on the shutter. You have to continue holding that while you spin the manual focus ring. As soon as you take your finger off, it goes starting over and goes into autofocus. Remember too though that if you if the autofocus is just bugging you, it's just not doing what you want, then it's right under your thumb up there while you're gripping that camera. It's just right there. Boom that way, boom, down to manual focus and away you go. So there's always that option as well. And depending on the lens you're using, some lenses have the AF MF switch on the lens itself. So that's, um, that's the option too. So that hopefully Ian answers your question and uh, thanks for asking.